Well, it's the most severe suspension I've imposed for a non-stick related foul, but again, uh, the focus here from driving in and listening to the radio appears to be that this is a case where one player won a fight and all of a sudden the league's stepping in and suspending a player for fighting. Well, I got news for you, folks. When I saw Sh uh, Shell, Alf Samuelson lying on the ice, he still had two gloves on. This was not a fight, and this is not a suspension related to fighting. This is a case where a player deliberately dropped his glove and stick and delivered a punch to an unsuspecting player who was not involved in an altercation. And the standard now is eight games. It's not inconsistent with prior suspensions for similar activity. And if that's uh, as far as players watching this and wondering what the suspensions will be in the future for conduct like this, they can count on eight or more. If a player calls you a dirty name, you have the right to sucker punch him, give him a concussion, cut him open for four stitches through his helmet, and he's missed at least two games and might miss more. Now, if anyone thinks that's an acceptable response for verbal taunting, I got news for you, it's not. And as far as the uh, Samuelson's reputation, I mean, uh, I don't mean to draw an analogy because it's not a good one. It doesn't show the proper respect for the crime involved, but it's just like the, the reputation of a victim in a sexual assault case is not material. Same thing here. The fact that Alf Samuelson may not play the game that some of the way some of you want him to play doesn't mean he's fair game for sucker punches. I was shocked when I was told. Uh, Cliff was shocked. Uh, you know, but life goes on, and uh, you know I was staying in shape. And like I said, uh, glad the boys won tonight. And uh, you know, uh, I love every one of these guys in here, and uh, they know that. And uh, you know, they stand behind me. And I, all I can do now is just cheer them on for the next seven games. And uh, God, I hope they beat the Rangers when we go back there. And that's all I got to say. Thanks, Ty.